All right, welcome everyone to Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen Season, season two, 2, Episode 4. Oh shit. Bang. Shot through the head. And <laughs> you're to blame. Gojo's to blame. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. I mm, mean, hey, right. these boys mm. were going to fight Tengen for her. If yep. she was just like, no, I'm not going to do this. And the they crazy were going to upend is, everything just yeah. because. Yeah, she was scared. This, and this seems wrong. These yeah. are good boys. Mm -hmm. These are good boys. And yet it's the very fact that they stopped to give her that option mm -hmm. that is why she died. Yep. yep. And also the lengthy goodbye with, you know, and this the maid. And this fucking monster, yes. Fushiguro. That just, that just shows up and is like, what? What are you talking? Oh, 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 right. right. Oh, I, oh, I killed Gojo. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the pretty one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's his fucking name? dead, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. I, 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 I iced him. Uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> he ego, like, checked me back as a kid, and so I was so pissed off mm -hmm. that that happened. I gave him I was special like, treatment. Yeah, no, I, I really wanted to make sure he was dead, so I, I triple-tapped yep. him. Yeah. And, um, holy shit, like... Gojo's yeah. obviously alive somehow. Right. We don't know. We don't know to what limits Gojo like has in terms of his abilities and uh -huh. stuff. But um, Geto's yeah. also gonna survive this somehow. Right. But Geto does have a full on Frankenstein forehead, so mm -hmm. uh, it might be a situation where Tengen or and or Gojo saves him here. Yep, yep. So, but until then, I am very excited for him to, you know, unleash all the summons. Yeah, and, so and unleash yet, everything. And yet he's not doing that. He's got a dragon and the ring girl. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> like, a, like, a mummied ring girl, basically. The fact that he's doing less, it's like, wait, oh, that actually makes me more excited. That, that might be all he's... You know, capable of that might be his. Those might be his best summons. Right, right, exactly. It's the, like, oh, yeah, I'm not just, gonna bother just, with all the. Just you know, die. Just the chaff. Yeah. Just die. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. But yeah, we are we are set up for a hell of an episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, y'all, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh shit! Yeah. The the fall with the mm -hmm. oh oh. oh. <laughs> this fucking bitch. And with bitch. that voice, <laughs> like it's just so perfect. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Gojo Satoru wa ore ga koroshita. Sou ka. No. Fuck. Oh, the music. Yeah. What? No. Uh, okay. Way. Well, that's how we have this environment. It's perfect for a big fight. Yep, yep. 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 And he already Someone's already destroyed done. it. And no blood on him, no uh, no sword or anything, just Oh my god. <laughs> yep, take us to the OP. Please mm -hmm. give us hope here. This bitch better show up and just clean everything. Okay, you know what would be crazy? What if? <laughs> An inventory of premature death. <laughs> <laughs> but what if Gojo actually did die there? And it's using the meta thing that we're going to think, no, he's not dead because he's in the present. But what if it's actually that it gets resurrected somehow? Oh, Through, possibly. like, some crazy thing that Tengen does or some such. You mm -hmm. know? And that's how this guy can be built up even more, because he did actually kick Gojo's ass. Oh, wait, Caleb. What? Okay. Ghetto and Gojo are bitter enemies in the present, but imagine Frenemies, for a second. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine that this bitch comes back, and then they're in the middle of the fight, and they're like, wait, hang on. Truce until we... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we'll resume this once this fucker's dead, you know, yeah, and yeah. then... I think it's just fun that Megami is um, working directly under uh, Gojo. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> just like, hmm. Oh. That's why I tease him so often. And he just walks away, the bitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, bless me. Okay, Yusuke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh-huh, right. Om nom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh shit, this is him telling him how his ability works yep. so that he'll be even stronger. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
ブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブレイズアウトブ
Until next time. Yep. Oh. Oh, we're we're right for a confrontation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy <laughs> shit. A ghost. A fucking ghost. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, real, real. <laughs> what is happening? Whoa. <laughs> you just gave me the opportunity to. <laughs> yeah, he's high on everything. He's. He's. He's reached a full new level right in here. <laughs> oh no I thought it was already over the elation oh my god the music yeah you're fighting the world now at this point like you are you are you are fighting you are fighting fate now you This is Gojo's pure id and ego yeah. on display as to what he's achieved here. And he literally could have died, so... Yeah. Alright, alright. You're just working within physics, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, what's wrong? What's wrong? He can sense you. He's like, I'll have to try. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, he didn't adjust his movement. He was already moving in tandem with where the blade was going to he be. He can see the future. He's reached Nirvana. He's... Yeah. Yeah, I have no enemy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I think to myself, he, what a wonderful yeah. world. He turned his cursed energy into ecstasy. <laughs> you know how life is pain? Well, I used a uh, reverse uh, yeah, yeah. Curse, te <laughs> curse uh, technique to... Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I love everything about this. The universe itself is playing music to... Uh-huh, purple. Yeah. 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 He just got Diaboloed. The past tense. Yeah. Space just eradicated. And I've been hollowed now. Oh, my God. And in his final Shit. moments, he thinks of his kid and... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you... You missed... You missed the whole point of living, man. Nothing. Oh. Damn. I just die standing. Holy shit. Taking us from that music to just silence. Yeah. No requiem for him. Wow. I I am I'm just dumbfounded. Yeah, I'm holy dumbfounded. shit. <laughs> Gojo straight up went, "Don't you know that there's multiple kinds of infinities?" <laughs> like I mean, yeah, this is stuff that we've seen him do before. 
but we had another like full breakdown of not just how it works, but why it, why it connects to his infinity and stuff. So, as the kids would say, Gojo is him. You know. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh shit! Oh, we got a good. Oh, it's like please take me in. そんなに<笑> Whoa, the inception. Yeah, it's very important that there is. Shit. Wow. Okay. Damn. So Gojo's power and his disassociation from yeah, awakening he... to that power. So, all right. Okay. We have a full <laughs> display of what the world of Jujutsu Sorcerers and Gojo, mm -hmm. by extension, is capable of. Yep. And Gojo is him. Yeah, Gojo not just ascending and awakening to the ability that he can use, even though he already knew how to use this on some level, he had never really had to but practice it in never such been a way. Able to do it. Yeah. Right. And so it clicked. He broke. He broke physics. He broke reality. He just he generated matter. Yeah, he generated life, basically. He he multiplied yeah. that which uh -huh. ends against itself to create... To create something out of nothing. Yeah, and yeah. and so at that moment, he become like a god, and mm -hmm. he and he and he felt that. And this is this is really cool because we're we're living in a world right now in the present where Gojo is still the top dog. He's mm -hmm. still running things, yep. but he does not have this much ego. He has, he has tempered it with something, and it's probably the loss of Ghetto as a friend, or at least sure. Ghetto as an ally. And so I'm really excited to see this backstory prequel stuff mm -hmm. continue to showcase the way in which Gojo's loss oh. of, not humanity, but loss of maybe touch with his emotions and some mm -hmm. of those things there pushed Ghetto to realize, I'm losing him. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah, I and love I that to, they. I need to get strong enough to prove to him, like, mm -hmm. like maybe that he's an idiot, or that something. I, if if he really thinks this is the right way, then I'll play it out. Uh -huh. Like, th but there's they... so much complicated stuff they could get into with their relationship, now. right? Because they capitulated on the thing that they were foreshadowing from the yes. beginning of this arc, in that it's not Ghetto who has the um, worrisome ideology. Yeah, it's actually it's Gojo. Gojo. Yeah, and I, I absolutely and it's love that. Ghetto because they they're they're important to yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. They're like this, and yet and they're yet, like this. Well, this is probably the end of the backstory arc. Oh, you I think imagine. so? Yeah. I mean, well, okay. If it's not, if it's not, I, I think they could do. I think they could do an episode. If, okay, if they do, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but f the 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 lion's share of the conflict is kind of resolved at this point, other than maybe anything that they do with Gojo and and Ghetto. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, mm -hmm. if this is the end of it. Ghetto still remained resolute, even though there was that part of him that was probably questioning it, definitely being affected by Gojo. But he's still like, well, "No, we do need to, we do need to have a reason to do he stuff." He said like that. we should. He was in some ways acknowledging that Gojo was right, oh. but that we should still anyway. Right, it's we the, should still yeah. have a point, and we should still care, and we mm -hmm. should still actually yeah. see ourselves as not a. We shouldn't be above exactly just killing. And, and I want to, I want to posit an idea, and this might seem like a complete like it, like yeah. you know parallel like side sidetrack mm -hmm. type thing, mm -hmm. but one of the biggest, um, one of the one of the hardest to miss things in this show is Gojo's shall we say unique personality in the present, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and how he's kind of an asshole. He doesn't really <laughs> care about other people. He's constantly causing trouble for them and things like that. 
Yeah, he does care. He does care a little bit. He, he does care, but he, like, he, but yeah. like, you know, he, he cares when it's like important stuff. He doesn't care what the stuff that like. Well, it's an archetype. You know. It's an archetype. Yeah, yeah. We, we exactly. didn't know. We didn't know the source of the archetype until we got into things like the movie and now this. Well, and yeah, especially this because yeah. if he if he reached a point where he, oh, I'm going to use the term Doctor Manhattan. If you've seen the Watchmen movie, sure. right, where it's so powerful that you just completely are like you lose a little touch. You yeah. you, you lose touch, right? Yeah. And so now. In the present, he is almost doing the reverse of that, mm -hmm. where he is so carefree but caring about these tiny little things mm -hmm. that then he's not being responsible, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's the, yeah, I'll go shopping and get clothes or sunglasses yeah. or whatever, you know, right? Yeah. And and I would not be surprised mm -hmm. if that is essentially his way to specifically stave off this aspect of himself that he realized he could end up falling into sure. because he's so powerful. Yeah, right? it also could be the kind of thing where he's he's so broken from the events that happened still after this episode mm. and mm -hmm. before the, the the present that it's the I distract myself with the mundane yeah. so that I don't uh, mm -hmm. act irrationally with all this power right. and thus he keeps himself in a place of zen. But we did see a couple points like with... Like with um, Hanami, uh, he unleashed purple, and it was not. Um, yes, it was not a. I I hold anything back. This is the you know. No, it's a good thing that we're out in the middle of nowhere. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Fuck everything in that general direction. So. Yep. All right. Awesome. We yeah. now see where that came from. Oh, also, and wasn't Ghetto the one that saved? Uh, uh, was was it Hanami or was it the volcano one? I, I don't want to go oh, yeah. into season okay. one stuff. You, yeah, you yeah. can, yeah. But the, the main thing that I'm wanting to get at is basically that Gojo is showing himself in this uh, section here mm -hmm. to be uh, focused on um, as the one that is drawing the the, the, the void out of this. And and we, we had some cool visuals to bring that up, not just with the void seeming to come up and swallow Ghetto, but even the way in which we focused on when he's like, I understand the true nature of right. his energy. Right, pupil becomes a, like a black it's, hole. Well, they focus just on the pupil and what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what a pupil looks like. That's It doesn't yeah. become anything. That's just yeah, what it, it looks like. It takes like. in light, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it takes in light, exactly. And and that's that's the that's the crazy thing about this this world is that we... We live in one where curses and cursed energy are pretty interchangeable for the most part for, you know, their, their base components. So what Jujutsu Sorcerers are kind of needs curses, and we're going to get probably into the cyclical nature of all that through um, Gojo's existence and his awakening here. Right, because he yeah. said specifically that I understand the, you know, the true meaning of cursed energy or something like that. Mm -hmm. That that takes um, what on the surface you could see as just being like a, a super hype, cool power spike, you know, like mm -hmm. like reveal and all that stuff to being something where it's the, no, not only is it relevant for this fight because mm -hmm. Gojo's fighting this guy, mm -hmm. this is also something that's going to be relevant for the story for the as world. a whole, for the yeah. world itself. I mean, it, it, it absolutely is. It's 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 guaranteed to be because of the way that this was drawn and, and presented in such a way that it is a, you must not look away, take very close attention to what's going on here. Mm -hmm. He is He is not just reaching a state of nirvana here, he's also laughing at the world itself. He's basically... Yeah. Uh, had a point where he's seen the truth, basically, and mm -hmm. now everything looks so mundane and ridiculous, and and in some ways that's one of the most like depressing things because it brings you into, on the one hand, the One Punch Man level where it's the, cool, now oh, no sure. joy will mm -hmm. exist for me. And thus yeah. maybe all the shopping stuff in the present is finding just joy him, in the things that... Him finding some joy at all, you Right, know? in all the things that don't have to do with being a sorcerer. Right, yeah. or also the thing of where now that I've seen the truth, I can't unsee that. And so I wish I could empathize and connect with these humans and stuff, mm -hmm. but I just now got a peek behind the curtain. I understand what the universe means and why we exist and all that, and I, it's depressing. Mm -hmm. So I can only laugh at it. And that's maybe where a cool Watchmen reference actually would work pretty well there as well. Not just for the Manhattan thing, but it's the, you know, it's just a big joke. It's all, it's all one big joke. Yeah. So really cool stuff here, but also really impressive characterization uh, for Papa Fushiguro. Yeah. Um, let's get into that. He wouldn't have had this fight if he didn't have some pride here. 
right. which he had abandoned apparently to be an assassin. Which makes sense because like, pride makes no sense as an assassin. Yeah, it's useless. Th yeah, absolutely yeah. useless. Right. Um, and in fact, and in it's fact, negative actually. It's yes, and and he less probably than could have. Well, okay, he probably wouldn't have been able to get away from Gojo necessarily, but you know, maybe he's the Invisible Man, right? So maybe. you know, maybe. But yeah, this it certainly. Um, he certainly died because he stayed, right? Yes. So, so. Yes. Yeah. And he the, had the sense of something's wrong, right. something's off. Mm -hmm. I, I, I should probably go. Yep. And, and he the, had that multiple times. Yep. <laughs> and the idea that it's the oh yeah no he completely cut himself off from his family, which mm -hmm. let's be real makes sense if you're going to be an assassin, yeah. right? Like, don't don't bring your family into that kind of shit. But then also it's just it's bad for your job too because then. Mm -hmm people could theoretically know stuff about you as opposed to you just being a ghost, you know, yada right. yada. But the way that they edited this and framed it in such a way that the reason why pride came into this seemingly was because the word uh, blessings mm -hmm. seems to be megami, yeah. which is, oh, yeah, that's what I named my son. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Now, there's a possibility that this is just him there's not a lot of depth to this. He is just a cold-hearted asshole. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that I think is still I think, possibly I think the that case is... here. Even if there's a, even if there's a gray area of it where it's that yes, he is that, but he is also still someone that intentionally mm -hmm. made himself forget these kinds of things. Right. I think there's uh, there can be definitely a tendency, especially if the character's hot, to be like ah, but because there's because it's not um, one-dimensional, mm -hmm. therefore that changes whether or not they're you know, an asshole, a cold person, or whatever, right? right. He now, he's still an is, assassin. He, he absolutely is a cold bastard. It was a choice that he specifically made to do that, but mm -hmm. the idea that maybe he messed up, and right. he, and he, there was still that part of him mm -hmm. that didn't want to be that, yeah. even if when it came down to a conscious decision, he did choose mm -hmm. that, that makes it a bit more interesting than yeah. just he was the perfect assassin because he still is human. Right, and this, this is where I think actually the, the beauty of this episode comes in is that as Gojo ascended beyond humanity, mm -hmm. Fushiguro clung to the little, tiniest that, that tiny bit of humanity yeah. that he had mm -hmm. because he realized in that moment that he was going to die. Yeah. And it was in that moment that he realized, fuck, something's off. And rather than having it be a thing of where, oh, because something's off, I'm an assassin. Dip, bam, I'm out, yep. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gone, no right. no issues here. Only fight when I'm when it's on right. my turf. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. he then goes full on into That's past right. tense, you know, monologuing about like, it was already too late. I had already kind of messed up and made the decision. Mm -hmm. And he talks to himself in the, like, I thought you had done this. Like, wh who are you? Like, what what are you doing? I thought you would abandon that pride. I thought you had chosen to live without respecting yourself or anyone else. Yeah. And that, that aspect of that arrogance or that pride, if you will, and then the without respecting or thinking of anyone else. That's basically what then Gojo presents to Ghetto later in the episode of, do we have any value or respect or care for these people here? Like, okay, we? Yeah, yeah. No, mm -hmm. no I don't, because I don't feel any. Definitely I, a thematic parallel. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a fun thematic parallel, given that um, in the moments where he's about to die, he does think of his boy. Mm -hmm. And while we get that omniscient perspective to be able to see what's going on, you know, inside his head. And yet his his one thing that he does, rather than ask him anything, he just puts yeah. the information out there. Hey, my kid's going to get sold off. And Do that what you will. Right. You and I both know about the Zenin clan, so mm -hmm. you'll, you'll do whatever you will with that. Yep. And he dies. So in his final moments, he thought of his boy and... Maybe he doesn't have the emotion in him to try and plead with him or do anything more than that. He might have literally killed his heart and that little bit of humanity that would be like, I love my son, please save him. Mm -hmm. It's the, no, this is all I have. Yeah, this, I don't this even. This tiny little bit yeah, here. I, I offer it up to this God, basically, and be right. like, whether, you whether you smite him as well, yes, or, exactly. or decide to, you know. Uh, rescue him from that situation who knows or, you know you know yeah train him brainwash him as your own or, yep, or yep. what have you you know yeah i i i give you that mm -hmm. i i i love the i love the power in storytelling that when you get a death it's not about how uh how they die necessarily it's how they choose to spend 
the last 10 seconds, you know, that time reveals yeah, to you the, the, the best nature in of their, that, In their final person. moments, people show you their, who they really are. Right, yeah, yeah. right. And then by extension, how other people react to that death. And in a, in a, you know, in a action battle shown and stuff like this, there can be a tendency to just, you know, drum up the emotion of like, you know, oh man, this person's dead and stuff. But in a lot of ways, this is such a cold death that the only emotion oh, yeah. is really found in those tiniest of little things. Well, little and even things and even then, it's not. Um, uh, there isn't much space for it here, right? Right, yeah. because because yeah. these are these are two, uh, two badasses that you know, uh, Papa Fushiguro has has, um, well. He's he's done some things that he needs to pay for, right? Mm-hmm. And Gojo's going to make him pay for it, and that's and that's that's all like that's all it is, mm-hmm. right? And that's that's what's going to happen. Sure, you know, if you wanna if you wanna bring some personal life stuff into this at the very end, mm-hmm. you can do that. But you know, yeah, yeah. I think one of the last things I want to bring up is the way Ghetto had not seen that Gojo was alive. Oh, uh-huh. And the next time he sees him, he mm-hmm. questions whether that's really him. Yeah. And I think that that's, like, one of the saddest things here is that he had basically made up with the, my best friend is dead. Right. The person that I never thought would be able to die, it'd be him and I versus the world or whatever. And right. But then it's the... Oh, did he actually come back? Right. Is that you? What happened? Mm-hmm. He ignores his question. Yeah. He doesn't care. Mm-hmm. In some ways, it's the, you know, ah, well, you're okay, okay you're, you know, yeah, uh-huh. I see she healed you. Yep. And, yeah. And then he's like, well, me being safe doesn't help anything here, you know. I screwed let's, up. Let's head back. Let's head back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, should we kill these guys? <laughs> and the way his eyes are almost, like, warbling where he's like, I, I feel so much, you know, emotion about all this that, like, I'm just reverting back to the, no, we should not, should not, should not, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all the, the logical stuff of it well, wouldn't be practical. It doesn't make sense. It's... And and in a lot of ways, let's be real, um, the uh, shoulds will only take you so far. Yeah. And this is the thing that kind of surprises me about this mm-hmm. is that I expected over the course of this arc that we'd get to see some of the reasons for why Ghetto became the person that he ends up becoming. And maybe maybe we have been seeing that, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's just not maybe the way I expected or something. But the fact that he's not just relying on shoulds, mm-hmm. but he's actually talking from a place of um, that won't bring us happiness, that won't make us feel better. These people probably didn't even have anything to do with it right now. On the one hand, you could say that it's because he's let go of the shoulds in a lot of ways, mm-hmm. you know, or or even though he still brings it up at the end, he has let go of the shoulds in some ways. Yeah. It's still the um, presence of mind to be like, no, like, like, like as a, as an actual decision, that's his, his own, not just a, Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe we should do this. Yeah. It's the, no, I myself do not actually want to do this. And that's, that is a much healthier perspective than I would have expected ghetto to have after everything that's happened. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of that is because of the fact that they, literally just had Rico killed Mm -hmm. right in front of them. So yeah, there's that as well. And that's just kind of got him shut down. So Mm -hmm. um, that's also a reason why I would, I would like to have another episode of this after this. Um, But yeah, in terms of the way this was um, uh, established with an ending, you know, post ED scene here with the, uh, you know, opposite colors, the, the red and blue, the repel attract, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the divide in between them and all that. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then the clenching of the fist and then the, well, it's very important that there is especially for for us. Mm-hmm. And I, I I just love it. It's it's the birth of a, of a god in Gojo coming out of the cult's, you know, white light mm-hmm. and everything. Yep. Then retreating into the shadow to oh yeah basically accept his demons his demon his demonic awakening as the one who's going to then treat himself as a god or a, mm-hmm. a god among men and 
yep. will actually be born out of the darkness that is coming from this twisted, fucked up light. It's like, ah, and yes, it's all a circle. It all comes back together. It and if you look at repel, it, it, wonderful. And if you look at the color pattern on the on the floor, it's blue on the outside and darkness on the inside. It's the same kind of situation that we had with Gojo's eye. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, the eye, the pupil, and everything. Yeah. But beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, uh, assuming there's no breaks or anything, because apparently there are going to be some uh, right. breaks uh, in between episodes. And I could so absolutely see there being a break after this that, episode. That, that could be it. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this. And uh, if you want to see that next episode's reaction and discussion right now, assuming there is one coming next week, uh, check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime and general and also be sure to check out my Baldur's Gate 3 let's play on Twitch and if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity I'm Caleb I'm Jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.